Welcome and uh, in this set of slides, we want to do a small exercise. We want to see how somebody announced to the world about a new discovery that they have made. Okay, so, that is what we are going to read. The idea is to read this material and comment on the quality of writing. Of course, there is a new discovery, so there is no question about the content. And as you read the passage, it will become clear to you that the idea that a new discovery has been made is communicated very clearly, but the style and voice in which it is done is what we want to discuss. Um, of course, this is the Raman effect. So, this is a paper that was written in Nature by Raman and Krishnan announcing their discovery of the Raman effect. And I am going to read through the first uh, paragraph and the line that follows the first paragraph in this session. So, the, the paper is uh, titled the discovery of uh, new radiation or something like that. And, uh, the, the, and, and when Raman starts the paper, he does not start by announcing that we have discovered a new radiation. Instead, he starts like this. If we assume that the X-ray scattering of the unmodified type observed by Professor Compton corresponds to the normal or average state of the atoms and molecules, while the modified scattering of altered wavelength corresponds to their fluctuations from that state. It would follow that we should expect also in the case of ordinary light two types of scattering, one determined by the normal optical properties of the atoms or molecules and another representing the effect of their fluctuations from their normal state. So, this entire thing is uh, one sentence. So, if you assume something, then it follows uh, something else. Okay? So, this is basically setting uh, the stage for announcing whatever it is that they have discovered. So, it gives the background, it tells that in X-ray, Professor Compton has observed something and uh, if you assume that uh, light is also an electromagnetic uh, wave like X-rays, then do we expect uh, something along similar lines in the case of light. Then it says, it accordingly becomes necessary to test whether this is actually the case. So, they have set the background and they have told what is it that they are going to test. And then the results are announced. The experiments we have made have confirmed this anticipation and shown that in every case in which light is scattered by the molecules in dust free liquids or gases, the diffuse radiation of the ordinary kind having the same wavelength as the incident beam is accompanied by a modified scattered radiation of degraded frequency. Okay. So, the first sentence said something about the setting, uh, what is the general area, what is the general idea. The second sentence said the, what is it that they are going to test. The third sentence said you know basically summarize the experiments that they have done and whatever it is that they have uh, got as results. And then the next paragraph starts and it starts uh, saying that the new type of light scattering discovered by us naturally requires a very powerful illumination for its observation and so on. So, nowhere uh, Raman and Krishnan have written that we have discovered a new type of radiation. In fact, whenever uh, in the, in the second paragraph when they talk about the discovery, it is uh, given in passive voice, you know, it is not emphasized so much that they have discovered, uh, but it is discovered by us. Okay. So, it is very interesting to note uh, certain features of uh, this particular writing. So, I am going to talk about them one by one. The first is that uh, Raman tells a story and uh, like uh, all stories, you know, when you tell a story, you do not start or, or you do not just give a gist, you do not say that you know, uh, you, you always start by giving some background and then you proceed to tell a story. So, Raman also tells a story, uh, he does not say we have discovered a new type of radiation when light is scattered by atoms and molecules, but he starts by saying that you know Professor Compton has done an experiment with X-rays and light is like X-rays, so we expect that this might also do. So, now we want to test that and then we have done the experiment. So, he starts with an expectation, he sets the background for his experiments with that expectation. He says, you know, somebody has done and this is our expectation, so that is why we are doing the experiment. And then of course, he announces that the expectation was fulfilled. 
he has nowhere declared that we have discovered a new type of radiation. Of course, the title does say a new type of secondary radiation, so that is what gives the hint that they are announcing a new discovery. And I also want you to note that uh, Raman and Krishnan use the word V very freely. Specifically, they use V in two different senses of the word. Okay. So, uh, for example, so in, in, in when, when they are discussing about uh, Professor Compton's experiment, they say if we assume that X-ray scattering. So, this V includes both the reader and Raman and Krishnan and that so in the second V also, it would follow that we should expect also in the case of ordinary light. That means, both the audience and Raman and Krishna are part of this V. So, it is generally that community which is referred to by this V. Um, but in this, after that when they say the experiments we have made have confirmed this anticipation, that V is just Raman and Krishnan. So, they use the word V freely and they use it in two different senses to mean the entire community which is common to the entire community, which the entire community believes or accepts as, uh, uh, as a truth and we to say what is it that they have done, but they never say we have discovered a new type of radiation. So, when they announce the discovery, they only say that uh, the new type of radiation discovered by us. Okay. I think it is a nice stylistic way of uh, doing it. Um, so, so, this is a passage for you to read and see how it is structured. Okay. Thank you.